Alright, I'm Sovereign Sage. So there's like only a couple days left on this event and I've taken a break from it until everything completely opened up. So this video is probably going to be short because normally these events don't last very long. So I need to wait until like 8 the next day. I can't, I don't know if it's 8 in the morning or 8 at night. It doesn't really say. Today. Try to get it right at 8. So... I should have known that. Kaching doesn't hang out in the Inazuma region. She's back on the, uh... She's in Liyue. Well, hold on a minute before I go and do that. Add Astra. Since I'm right here. Let's go send off some new characters to do things. Do that real quick. So is she outside of it? She's not exactly at the Jade Palace, but I'm gonna just teleport to it and then fly down to where she is. Because I can't actually get to where she is. I'm also sitting on this pillow and I just don't feel like it's set in correctly. It's kind of slightly uncomfortable. Oh, actually, she is up here. You know what's funny? Look at the map, right? Do, do you see where she is? And then look where the Jade Palace is symbols at. It looks like we're not actually on the Jade Palace, but we are. Like, this is the Jade Palace. Yet, on the map, it looks like we're on the ground level. Talk to her. Ah, you've arrived. I've, I've made, made all, all the necessary, necessary preparations, preparations and, and even packed some handmade snacks. Look at all this shit she has. Oh, that, that reminds me. me. I've also prepared, prepared some launch tubes, tubes made by Pony. I, I hope the Adept Eye will like them. them. Is, Is there, there anything, anything else, else I should bring? I think there should be everything. Good. Yeah. In that In case, case, let's first pay Madame King a visit in the city before heading out to Joy Yun Karst. Yeah, we gotta go with her to give gifts to the Adepti. Skygazers, line walkers, okay. She's on the ground level. Woo! Just yeet myself off the top of that. <laughs> yeah, the city kind of looks weird from way up here. Like, it's not really all that big. That's what she said. No, seriously, though, it's not. Just watch as everything loads in. Cloud alike. Hey, it's Yan Fei. The festive season is upon us. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. I get it, Granny, but you know, having lots of clients is a good thing. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but. Really, child? Who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I clicked it five times. I'm still clicking it. Happy lantern rite! Yeah. It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. 
How are you? Oh dear, well, look who's here. I'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival. That random orange leaf in the background. Hello, traveler. Long time no see. Oh, and Lady Kuching is here too. Oh my god. The Qixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I picked specifically for you, Madam Ping. I brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. Please, accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous! Please, Please be, be sure, sure to thank the Qixing on our behalf. behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. The way they say her name, it's like, it's like they're saying Ku instead of Ke. I've always said Kuching, but other people say Kuching, like there's a, like it's a U. And I don't really like that. Please, enjoy them. We well, intend to, to visit, visit the other Adepti as well, as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? Yes, they should be over in Juryun Cost. By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. What a pity. Yen Fei really, really enjoys enjoy spending, spending time, time at the festival. festival. You'll, You'll find, find her wandering, wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. I was providing a central consultation to my clients. Oh, is that so? Were you also holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the grilled tiger fish stand for all that time? As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not, it's not easy, you know. know. I, I had have to, to check, check a lot, lot of different, different items. items. So you're working during the Lantern Rite, right too? That's, That's right. right. There, there are, are no holidays in my line of work. work. I, I have, have to be, be ready whenever my clients need me. That sounds exhausting. Oh, I can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be It'd hard to land, land new cases, cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Besides, uh, what's the saying? Ah, yes. yes. A rested worker is an efficient worker. Have you been to the festival yet, Kaching? I, I was there, there many times, times when I was supervising, supervising the festival construction, construction but I haven't, I haven't been, been there, there since. since. I, was I was planning to go after, after I finished my work, work, but the work, work keeps piling up. up. I ended I up completely forgetting about it. Let's go together once you finish with your work. <laughs> yes, I should, I should take, take the, the opportunity, opportunity to show you around, around while you're, while you're here. here. But, but first, we should head to Joy Yun Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping. Ping. We'll, we'll be leaving now. now. Let's we'll see. Which, Which adeptus, adeptus shall, shall we visit, visit first? first? Oh! Why don't we visit Cloud Retainer at Mount Nelson first? She usually stays inside her abode, so she'll be super easy to find. Alright, Cloud Retainer. You're just doing that through her head. Lady Kuching is so hardworking. Maybe I should take a leaf out of her book. I know that you must be busy, but please take care of yourself. Sacrificing your health is never wise. I know. Thanks for telling me. Good. Still these flowers. Still them. You actually need these for um, what's his face? Uh, uh, Shincha. Took me a minute. <laughs> I thought I had enough to level him, but I think I'm missing something, and uh, I'll have to look. Wait. Okay. Still all the flowers. Yeah, I think I am missing something. Let's see. He's all the way at the bottom. I should the back. I should have started from the back first. I don't know why I did it this way. Yeah. 
It's kind of hard because Child and Barbara also need these, and so does Mona. So I'm having to decide who gets it. Also, they added a new outfit for Mona, and I went ahead and changed her to it, because I thought, why not? They also did that to um, Jean. I could set her back to her default outfit if I wanted to. I think I will, because they said that they were going to default change these. They said that the characters in-game were going to be defaulted, so this is the one that they have her to. And then this is her default one, and then this is the new one. I'm going to keep the new one, because I don't really care. And I think Rosaria also, this is Rosaria's new one. They basically just try to censor the shit out of it. So this is the old one, this is the new one. They just censored it to make her breasts look smaller. Because people were complaining about how big her breasts were. Give me a fucking break. Seriously, give me a break. I personally don't care. Um, but I guess there's some people that do. I don't know why you would care about a video game character. It's not like they're real. As I'm getting ready to turn 29 here in April, so as a 28-year-old woman, I don't care how big her breasts are. I personally don't care either way. I don't even like that character anyway, so I never see her, so why would I care? <laughs> the only Ice character I like is really, uh, Chung Yoon and, uh... Shenha. <sighs> Ayaka's okay. They're gonna be releasing her brother Ayato soon. I already know what he looks like, so. Break it! Break that shit! Alright. Woo! Feel like I'm losing my mind right now. Woo! It's gone here. Gentle land. The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? Well, with Landon right just around the corner, I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. But, um, where are Mooncarver and Mountain Shaper? Them? Oh, don't, don't even, even get, get one started. started. Her eyes are so low rezzed. Oh, oh, is that, that not the Traveler, traveler and the Yu Hong too? too? Hmm, a oh, rare visitor indeed. The water. <laughs> yeah. Greetings, venerable adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. You should just say vulnerable. You basically called her weak. Huh? Lady Kuching. I didn't, I didn't expect, expect to see you here. The Yu Hong of the Chasing. Here. Most fascinating. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Chishing, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liu Ei, the chief thing must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, you still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode. Eminently considerate of you. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. I wonder what that could be. This is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liu being ruled by humans. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then, we should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets. So she will certainly appreciate this gift. Ganyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. I've given everything thorough consideration. It should all go well. Is it just me or does she seem to be taking too many breaths 
during her dialogue, you can hear the inhale every time she goes to, to speak like that. Goodness, Goodness me. me. Who ever would have thought? Oh, my how very interesting. Yeah, time to light that shit. It, it is intricate, intricate with, with ingenious, ingenious design. design. And, and is aesthetically, aesthetically agreeable. agreeable. Yes. yes. Judging from Cloud Retainer's expression, it seems this gift was a success. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that you also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity. Your timing is most unfortunate. Oh! Are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too! You do know that Moon Carver is, vo is voiced by Ether's voice actor. Uh, Zach Aguilar voices both of them, and it's hilarious. Because it's funny, because, like, his vocal range is insane. Like, he can go from talking really soft to, like, suddenly deep, and it's like, whoa. I think it's cool. Not everybody can change their voice like that. Hmm. Those, Those two, two old fossils. fossils. Moon Carver has, has been most anxious, anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares. But the, the agreement, agreement was clear. clear. Liyue, Liyue is now in the hands of the chief thing, and he, and he cannot, cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. So, so one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human and take a brief look around. Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Oh yeah, they can disguise themselves as other people, it's kind of weird. Thereafter, he left, claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures, and one has not heard from him since. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots? Rusing to excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back. To scurry away and go traveling together. Seems possible. Huh? What's everybody doing here? This voice. Is it Shenha? Uh huh? Oh? So Shenha is here too! Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she the one that you mentioned before? She's also murderous. Hello, everyone. Hi. Shenha, this is Ganyu. You. you have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyue Harbor recently, so if you need anything, please feel free to come to me. I will. Thank you. I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Oh no, I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? Oh, and you even brought food for those two old fossils. That's right. Hmm. After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shen He. Huh? Everyone. You shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. Sound like it's time we change the topic. Speaking of which, have you seen Xiao anywhere? The Conqueror of Demons? One has not seen him of late. Well, then he's probably, probably not enjoying the cost. Hmm. Let's go look for him in his usual spot. At once you're in! In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Juryun Karst for the festival. Had Ganyu not come to visit, one would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please, Please accept, accept my, my profuse, profuse apologies. <laughs> Why, Why the sudden solemnity? It would it certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted, interrupted on your account. account. As, As a, a youngling, youngling 
You did so love to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh? Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhan present, why not settle this matter here and now? <laughs> She's like, no. Uh, no, it's, it's something very important. important. In, In fact, fact, I must, must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. immediately. A matter so, so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? Uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and Ganyu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. <laughs> Walks away really slow. Huh. Gone already. The child, she, she has, has always, always been easily ruffled. One that kind sounds of wrong. Thoughts, however, it is, it is no, no simple, simple thing to be a secretary. secretary. Nearly every matter in Liu Er Harbor, momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health, lest she fall prone to exhaustion. Ganyu is an assiduous worker. Apt to forgoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. The Yuhan, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liue Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles... Hmm... They, they do, do look delectable indeed. indeed. You may you leave them, them here. here. Shanha shall, shall bring these into one's abode, and, and one, one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made, made their return. return. This firework has an intriguing design. One, one must conduct, conduct a thorough study of it. And one, one also wants, wants to hear what Shanha has, has learned in Liyue Harbor. Yes, I have many interesting stories to tell. Let us chat, while well, one scrutinizes this device. You know, continue your research even during the lantern raid. Yeah! Don't, Don't you rest during the holidays? This, this is a festive, festive season, season, season after all! <laughs> one has long been living secluded in the mountains, and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If, if one, one is, is too, too devoted, devoted to one's research, research and falls and ill, one, one shall be in no fit state, state to test the devices device personally. Is it really that important, important to test it yourself? Of course. As, As one, one sows, so do they reap. And, and the joy, joy of reaping is what one yearns for. Oh my god. If, if one, one spends all, all that time working, working on a machine, machine yet forgets to test the outcome, that would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no. It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. Ah, <sighs> enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shanha, this way. She's like, get on my back with that fucking food. That would be kind of weird. You sure caught on to that one quickly. Lab retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. Um, she can be a bit strange sometimes. But then again, she is an adeptus. That's the wisdom of an adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wang Shuen. Perhaps, Perhaps we'll find, find the conqueror, conqueror of demons, demons there. there. Perhaps, maybe not. He'll be like, what the hell is this shit? I don't know, man. Shao is okay, but he kind of seems like he gets mad at shit easily. I'm also distracted by like, hold on a minute. 
Okay, it's gone. There was like something blue hovering in the sky the whole time, and I guess it was just a. Okay, some kind of a graphic thing. I don't know. It looked like a like uh, one of the Ananuculuses, and I was like, I collected all of those. I got Venti's and Zhang Li statues at level ten. They're maxed. The only one that's not maxed yet is Ace, the Electro Archon. I think I have hers like at level five or seven. I can't remember. Let's ask Virgil Dutt where the conqueror of demons may be. Huh? Bye, Shu. Yeah. What are you doing? Dr. Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. Her voice is so dead. Splendid. Let me pack up and then we can be on our way. Hey, you guys. What are you doing? Look at our seductive blocks. Isn't it cool? Dr. Baiju wanted herbs. So I came to collect herbs. Lots of them. And Dr. Baiju came too. Traveler, Paimon. Oh, oh, and Lady Kaching. It's, it's a pleasure, pleasure to see you all. all. We're, We're here, here stocking up, up more herbs. Is it just me or was that line delivered so awkwardly? Oh my god. He kind of reminds me of Shen Nong from Warriors Ruchi 3 Ultimate and it's hilarious. Because he's also fascinated with herbs and shit. Boo Boo Pharmacy always, always runs, runs out, out of digestive, digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yulong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's, it's nearly, nearly time, time to celebrate, to celebrate Lantern, Lantern Rite, and, and you're still, still running errands. Hard working as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baizu. I'm, I'm just doing, doing my, my job. Kaching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. Yeah. All right, thank you, Titi. And we shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, care you two. Uh, um, three. Cause a snake. Traveler, let's, let's go, go find, find Virgil Dutt. Doctor Baiju, are we done yet? Yes, almost. But don't rush me. Just give me a moment. I skipped it. Doctor Baiju. Yes, almost. But don't rush me. Just give me a moment. Eh. <laughs> Hello, lady. Ah, uh, Lady Kuching. What a surprise. Is there anything I can help you with? No, thank you. I'm just wondering if you might know where the Conqueror of Demons is. Oh, we never inquire about Chow's whereabouts. But if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. Please feel free to go up and have a look. Um, wasn't there a tree? No, just take the fucking stairs. I'm looking for a tree. Here we go. <laughs> this is how I do it. <laughs> Cause why not? Huh? <laughs> 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 That landing, though, what was that? It's not here. Hmm. He doesn't seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to. Uh. How can I help? Remember he told me a long time ago, 
if I ever needed him just to say his name. But I didn't say it, though. <laughs> You were here the whole time, Xiao? Yes. Uh, hello. hello. I, I am Kuching. Yuho of the Lili Chising. The Yuho. Yes. yes. I saw, I saw you, you when we battled, battled Osaya. You, you are fierce, fierce with your blade. blade. I'm gonna let you know that Xiao is actually voiced by a, by a female. She does pretty good, because you can't tell. Uh, uh anyway, we're gonna give, give you some lantern right, right cousins. See? There's, There's lots, lots of tasty food! food. I don't know if he's gonna be into that. He's more like on his own, and how do we carry all that shit here? <laughs> don't, don't waste, waste your, your delicacies, delicacies on, on me. The chasing specifically prepared them for you, so. <sighs> Eradicating, Eradicating demons, demons is my duty. duty. You, you don't, don't have, have to think. think. Karma, Karma is harmful, harmful to the human body, body. even, even if, you if you have a stronger, stronger constitution, constitution than most. most. You should, you should keep, keep your distance, distance from me when you can afford to. Okay. This is this has happened before where they don't get the line that matches. He was supposed to say karma is harmful to humans. Even though your constitution surpasses that of ordinary mortals, it would be best if you didn't approach me so casually. But that's not what he said, but you know, whatever. Hey! Wait! Are you kidding? Look! Come on! Lantern right here! Don't you wanna don't you take, take a, a break? break? Why don't we go to watch the fireworks in the city together? Like, like I, I said before. before. I have, I have no, no liking, liking for crowds. I didn't say in a crowd we could sit somewhere by ourselves. Come on, don't be like that. I must I remain vigilant of evil attacks, attacks especially, especially during, during the holidays. holidays. I will I continue, continue my patrol, patrol as usual. You should, you should also, also exercise, exercise caution. caution. And if there's, there's any, any danger... danger... Yeah, we know. Good. I clicked it like five times. And he's gone! Well... well Maybe only if he wants to. All right, we've completed our visits with all the adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. After a short break, everyone gathers on the ground oh, no. floor. What should we do? It's that dude. I clicked it seven times. Come on. Huh? Oh. Lady Kuching! Lady, Lady Kuching! I'm, I'm so, so glad, glad to see you here. I was robbed because I was too busy stuffing my fucking face with dumplings. Uh, Fang Li? What's wrong? What, what are you doing, doing here? here? Lady Kuching, let, let me explain. explain. I have rearranged, rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingxiao village, village, just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But... The person we left in charge came back shortly after, and reported that all the fireworks in Chingsa village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millilith, and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa village under escort. But they were attacked. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millilith are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left. So if the second, the second batch, batch of fireworks, fireworks gets stolen, stolen as well, well we're, we're done, done for. So, so I was, was thinking, thinking to go to Chinsa village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you. Lady, Lady Kuching, what, what should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them, and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help! This won't be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao! <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll, I'll handle, handle this, Pungy. We can't let her do this by herself. Let us help you. That's, That's right. right! We, we can, can take, take care, care of this! Together! Thanks, you two. Actually, Actually I, have I have an idea. idea. Let, let me make, make some arrangements. arrangements. Pungy, go, go back, back to Liyue Harbor, Harbor and get the fireworks, fireworks ready. Right. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. village. Traveler, Traveler, come, come with, with me. me. Let's, Let's ask, ask around, around to see what happened. 
yeah, after I collect my silk flowers. I mean, I'm growing some of my player home. I don't really need to get these, but like, why not, right? They're right there, might as well. I love Asha! Now that make us look like we're fucking idiots. It'll make us look incompetent, she said. Can't ask for help, she said. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks that. I kind of wish they would make these NPCs look a little more unique, because she just looks like Madame Ping, and I kind of hate it. Oh, Lady Kitty, I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It would be better if they gave her different clothes with different colors and at least made her hair down, because then you can differentiate them. <laughs> it's no it's trouble at all. Please, tell, tell us what, what happened. happened. Well, when they brought the fireworks, the children at the village were very excited. They were all gathered round watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now, let me remember. Oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Oh, the villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there is thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Millimeth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Millimeth standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. Maybe we can find an elemental trace. I like how she's like, tell them that everything's fine with them standing guard, but they, uh, they were already standing guard and they still got robbed, so you kind of make yourself look like a liar. I'm just gonna say that right now. It's like, you, you, you get those one people, well, if they were so good at their job, they wouldn't have gotten stolen in the first place. You know those people. Give me my freaking minute. This is the place. The fireworks were stolen here. The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chinks village. Maybe. All too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. Yeah, alright. <laughs> like the most stupidest leap ever. <laughs> I bet you they were still in here. You collect those. I need those for, um... Sean Lee. What? What? Are these... Footprints? No shit. Let's see what they read. Give me, give me, give me no, give me no, give me no. Oh. I could collect that mint, but I don't care. Damn it! I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm sorry. No.
trying to collect shit as I'm going. Footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. They seem to go over here. There's a chest down there I apparently haven't gotten before. Probably has something to do with that rock. I need Geo Illumine to put a rock on that. And I can't read it. There they are. Look at them. Uh. Shang Yun? <laughs> Sir, Sir, please. please. This, this is, is all, all just a big, big misunderstanding. misunderstanding. <laughs> a misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me. Why are you hiding here? Please, good sir. This is. Really is just, just a misunderstanding. misunderstanding. <laughs> I, would I would never dream of getting, getting anywhere, anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce, Commerce Guild, Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Oh, the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It must be. Shincha, please save your breath. Restrain this fellow. Tightly now. We mustn't let him get away. He's also voiced by a girl. Let that sink in for a minute. Yes, yes young master. master. Uh, I was I'm sure it was an evil spirit. spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. Chang'in? Chang'in! Hello! What are you doing here? Well, well hello, hello, dear traveler. Our, Our fates, fates cross, cross once again. again. What, what brings, brings you here? here? Uh, uh, excuse you me. Please, please, tell me what is happening, happening here. here. Ah, yes. yes. Allow, Allow me, me to explain. explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Night, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh! So what is Chang doing here? He's my personal bodyguard, you know. Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. That there was an evil spirit. I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and used to ward off, evil, used spirit. to ward off evil spirits and the like. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis. So the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. In order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my Thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Sincho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Xingqiu must be leading Chang Yun along. Chang Yun never got to see the book, did he? I'm gonna, it's both of these. Like, he's like leading him. Like, oh, it says this. He must be leading him. Anyway, when, when we, we arrived, arrived at the area, area Chang'un sensed, sensed an ambush about to take place. place. Upon, upon searching the area, area we, we found, found a group of treasure hoarders. They, they tried, tried to flee the, the moment, moment we were upon them. them. Not only that, it's actually the second one because Chang'un always goes based on what people say until he actually finds the truth out for himself. So it's actually the second one. He didn't actually see the book, he's just going based on what Xingqiu says, so he's kind of like being deceived. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding. 
but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good, sir. Just hear me out. Everyone knows the Fei Yun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. The master of the Fei Yun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds, and a, a true hero of the people. So, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well, who was it? Well, just trust me, we were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Please, please believe me. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secure. Tie each, each of his, his fingers, fingers separately if you have to. He's, He's not, not gonna, gonna pull, pull anything, anything under our watch. watch. Wait, Wait a second. second. Please, Please also deliver this, this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuhu. Yes, Young Master, I understand. We'll be on our way. To take him away. I've, I've heard, heard many, many good things, things about you, Master Shinto. Thank, Thank you for your assistance. assistance. I, I hardly lifted, lifted a finger. finger. Think, Think nothing, nothing of it. it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Huh. Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chong Yun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Fei Yun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush, but rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. Me? It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? She literally just said fireworks. Were you not listening? You tell him about the fireworks theft. Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chung, let's go lend them a hand in Chingsa Village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. <laughs> well, Chang Yun can. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chingsa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. It seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww. We'll find a way to catch them. Thank you. Master Shincho. I'll leave Chingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. They leave for the village. It's fortunate, it's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. It's always good to have some help. It's so cool to fight for justice! What are we turning into fucking Ma Chow over here? The thieves who stole the fireworks <laughs> haven't revealed themselves yet. Every time I hear that word, I just think of friggin' Ma Chow from the Dynasty Warriors. It's like, oh, Herald of Justice. My god, we're turning in the common writer over here. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. Um, I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Uh, Are you planning to look for clues all by yourself? Um, somehow that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Oh, wait! You're in the Lily Chisi! Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? At least it'll be safer than investigating on your own. Paimon's right. Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa Village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. The way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Well, when you put it that way... It 
It's settled then. Traveler, Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa Village when I'm done. Okay. Hold on a minute. Yeah, so it doesn't end quite yet. So we're supposed to wait again until the next day. Hold on a minute, though. Nope. I put in a bunch, too. I put in, like, ten, and I still haven't gotten anything. They gave me Beto, and I was like, fucking seriously? I already have her. And I don't really care for her, personally. It's like, the characters that I do want, they're just like, no. Oh! What the hell is this? Okay, the Sears right is here during this festive season. It is your company and dedication that brought everyone together to rejoice in this grand celebration. Here we are grateful to present this thank you gift. For your contribution, the flying colors in the sky bring you the joy of reunion, and we hope the continent of Tibet can bring you more warmth and beauty. It says one of five. Why do I have it twice, though? I'm not complaining. They want to give it to me twice? Fine. I already have him, though. Please stop fucking me. <laughs> oh, that kind of came out wrong, but you know what I mean. It's okay, I'm sure, eventually. I, I put in a lot, though. They gave me Beto, and now they gave me Xing Cho. They, they hate me. They hate me. It's, 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 it's obvious. It's obvious that they hate me, though. Alright, let me go back up to the village. Let me teleport. Um... I'm gonna go over here. Ah. Uh. Alright. <laughs> eh. 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 Come down, please. Come down. What are you doing? I like the music in this area. Oops. This is the flower I want to give him, but look at the difference in the health. Shit.
Whatever, I'll just wait the three minutes. It's more like three seconds, but okay. <laughs> Rest assured, all, all is quiet here in Chinxa village. village. Chang Yun is guarding the outside, and I'm guarding the inside. Not a problem in sight. Good. I've made some progress in my investigation as well. Oh? What are you planning? Is it time to strike? Perfect timing! Let's go! <laughs> How do you just walk up to a conversation you're not in and say that? A traveler, Paimon. You are just in time. I literally said that. I looked everywhere and I found some clues regarding the treasure hoarders. Besides wagon tracks, I also came across bits and pieces of fireworks packaging scattered on the road. Following those clues, I was able to finally locate the missing fireworks. But there was no sign of treasure hoarders. Did they run away? No, I think they might be just overly careless. I seem to have found the location where they've been stashing all their stolen goods. They must have thought it was well hidden and deemed it unnecessary to post any guards. The amount of fireworks they've amassed there is astonishing. Not only did they steal the ones in Chingsa village, but also from other locations too. They've gathered all the stolen goods there. I've asked the Mililith on guard at Chingsa village to report this to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. They will organize a search around that warehouse. Now that the Mililith is involved, you don't need to handle this yourself! The treasure hoarders are notoriously cunning, and they may even have lookouts. If they notice anything suspicious, they will move the fireworks and our single lead will be lost. I have to keep an eye on the situation. Uh, you're not really thinking that you can take all of them yourself, are you? That's what he said. No, I am not that reckless. I just want to investigate the case thoroughly, but now that I have your help, the idea is feasible. So you really are considering it? We can't let her Kaching try to handle this on our own. They're just treasure hoarders. We can take them. Okay. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go. The stars inscribe the year's wishes. Though they are merely a group of irksome bandits. Please, exercise caution. I'll do that. So if he's guarding the inside and Xiang Yun's guarding the outside, can I actually find him somewhere then? Where would he even be? <laughs> Seriously. <gasps> mm. Hard to say. Not far at all. Okay, I think the dialogue broke. Uh, these treasure hoarders must have returned to check on the stolen fireworks. Please hide, hide yourselves. yourselves. Let's, Let's wait, wait and see, and see what, what happens. happens. The hell was that? I clicked it. I'm still clicking it. Hey, boss. You think we have enough fireworks now? He's like, hell no. We must have more. <laughs> Are you, Are you kidding? kidding? This, this ain't, ain't nowhere, nowhere near enough. Ah, uh, but boss, if, if we want more fireworks, fireworks, we're gonna have to steal into the city. city. Ain't, ain't gonna, gonna be easy. easy. Hmm. You got, you got a point. point. All, right. All right. Then, then we, we steal, steal those, those things, things that make a real loud bang, bang but don't light up real pretty. pretty. What do they, what they call, call them? them? Ah, yeah. yeah. Firecrackers. Fire 